Well, Joseph Park is not the only attorney backstage. How about Bully Ray showing up with his lawyer earlier tonight as we welcome DNA Knockout Velvet Sky to the ring? And we saw Dixie Carter. I wonder what she's thinking. I wonder what Chris Saban is thinking. And most of all, I wonder what Impact Wrestling General Manager Hulk Hogan is thinking. Having the pressure, knowing that this legal action brought upon him by Bully Ray could change the very history books of Impact Wrestling forever. The clock is ticking. Hogan has a decision to make tonight. I wanted to come out here tonight and admit to all of you that I made a mistake. And no, that mistake was not wrestling with an injury. It was letting Mickey James know I was injured. See, that's my fault. I trusted her. I let her in. And she took complete advantage of my situation to get whatever it is she wanted. But rest assured, I will never, ever make a mistake like that again. In fact, moving forward, I'm playing things closer to my vest than ever before. So tonight, I get a ringside seat as I watch Gail and Mickey tear into one another. So ladies, have at it. Gotta love it, Velvet Sky is gonna be a very interested ringside observer. Do not go anywhere because the Knockouts Championship match, Gail Kim, Mickey James, it's next on Impact Wrestling. We welcome you back to Impact Wrestling from Louisville, Kentucky. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Knockouts Championship match. Introducing first from Toronto, Canada, Gail Kim. By virtue of her ladder match victory in Las Vegas over Taryn Terrell, Gail Kim became the number one contender. She is in the role of the challenger. And we certainly saw the fireworks last week between Gail Kim and Mickey James. And her opponent from Richmond, Virginia, your knockouts champion, Mickey James. Well, Mike, whether you're talking about the incredible matchup with Gail Kim and Terrence Harrell at Slammiversary, the latter match in Las Vegas, Mickey James as champion, the knockouts have raised the bar, have set things to a new standard. And now, Mickey James as the knockouts champion, going right into battle against Gail Kim. Mike Gale has said it, and a lot of people are agreeing. She's at the top of her game right now. Gail Kim, arguably, a lot of people feel the greatest in-ring performer in the industry today. And to prove that, she is going to have to get through the knockouts champion, Mickey James. In Gail Kim, you have the first ever TNA knockout champion. Back in 2007, overall, a two-time knockout title holder is Gail Kim, hardcore country, Mickey James, her opponent. The very egotistical Mickey James has held the knockouts title now three times, and she is defending that belt. Can I just say this much? I, I went to the Mickey, we showed it last week. I went to the Mickey James concert in Nashville. I thought it was a little, I mean, she was good. Don't get me wrong. Incredible performer on stage. Can't argue it, can't take anything away from her music, but the fact she wore her Knockouts Championship on stage while she was performing, really? I think a little bit much. I'm proud of it, no question. I'd be proud of it too, but flaunting this. Well, let's talk about let's talk about championships and not just the Knockouts title. How pathetic is it that Bully Ray, Aces and Eights, and the attorney that we saw, the lawyer earlier tonight, have filed that lawsuit? When you talk about TNA president Dixie Carter, but especially general manager Hulk Hogan, and backed into a corner here, they've been pressured to take that championship belt away from Chris Saban and return it to Bully Ray and Aces and Eights by the end of this Impact Wrestling broadcast. Ridiculous. Yeah, a real tough position that Bully Ray and this attorney have put Dixie Carter and Hulk Hogan in. 
Especially, I mean, what an emotional night it was seven nights ago when, when Saban won this thing to begin with. Now, we're faced with a situation with a tough decision that has to be made, maybe possibly forced upon Hulk Hogan and Dixie Carter tonight. We invite you to visit ImpactWrestling.com. Find out as we see the challenger go for the quick hit. Find out when Thursday Night Impact Live is bringing Spike TV cameras to your city. Tickets are on sale now for Wichita Falls, Texas on August the 1st. August the 15th, we are going to be in Norfolk, Virginia, Cleveland, Ohio on August 29th, and St. Louis, Missouri. Impact Wrestling headed there on September the 12th. Some great cities coming up for Impact Wrestling Live. You gotta see it, you gotta experience it. Here's the cover. And our live events, no matter where we are, Impact World Tour. So much fun. You gotta experience this in person, folks. It's unbelievable. Hey, watch it, watch the win. Quite early on in this knockouts championship contest, watching as the special referee for the knockouts division, ODB. Boy, at this point, just calling it right down the middle, doing a great job here. Trying to keep in check both champion and challenger as Gail Kim takes down Mickey James first with that drop kick. Follow clothesline, gonna stack her up for the pin and get two. And how about that confidence in Gail Kim just swatting away the drop kick attempt of Mickey James and delivering one of her own. Not only the situation with Chris Saban in the World Heavyweight title. The controversy swirling and surrounding that will be addressed here tonight because of the Aces and Eights Warrior, but also Bound for Glory series matchups like Christopher Daniels against Samoa Joe and AJ Styles against Jeff Hardy. Those all on deck here tonight on Impact Wrestling. Into the corner, Gail Kim drops the champ. Wow, a couple of dream matches yet to come. Not only that, but factor in the importance of those points in the Bound for Glory series. Just keep going back to this, Mike. Our World Heavyweight title situation is really up in the air at this point. Hulk Hogan and Dixie Carter put in a very tough situation. Yeah, the pressure's on our general manager, Hulk Hogan, to take that title belt away from Saban and turn it over, hand it back to Aces and Eights, and Bully Ray as Mickey James connected with a kick that sent Gail Kim all the way out to the floor. Been interesting to watch right in front of us here at the broadcast table, JB. The reactions during this Knockouts Championship match of Velvet Sky. Wow, she doesn't like Gail Kim. She doesn't like Mickey James. There's pretty much a mutual dislike amongst these three women right now in Impact Wrestling. That's because of the competition. Knockouts have raised things to a new level. Wise move by Gail Kim, snapping the neck of the champ, Mickey James, across the cable. He's gonna go outside here and we see. Oh. We've seen Gail Kim use the, the figure four wrapped around the steel post. Obviously what she had in mind. Oh, but Mickey comes flying off the apron and from the mount position. Repeated shots to the head. And ODB getting right in Mickey James' face about this. She wants to get this match back into the ring. Velvet Sky just looking on. And you know what she's thinking? I think she's looking to see how much physicality and brutality we see between these two, knowing that How's that for physicality? Neck breaker, drop down, leads to a cover and a near fall for the champ who goes right back for another cover. Mickey on top and... Two! Two! As ODB says, got the two count there. Oh, no luck with the DDT or the eat defeat from Gail Kim. Mickey connects and springs back up to her feet. Champ posturing as she goes high risk, positioned up on top, goes flying over the top of Gale. Oh, Gale gonna go submission here, variation of the octopus submission hold. She's got the arms seized, had the head as well, but then, yep, yeah, contact made with the ropes. ODB calls for the break. Look at this, right in the ropes, Mickey James goes for a, another submission maneuver, but ODB right on top of this, gotta break that move quick. Yeah, deathlock variation by the champ. A little kiss to Velvet Sky here. Oof. That wasn't a kiss, right up alongside the head of Mickey James, courtesy of Gail Kim. Gail committed, 
went in mid-air. Mickey able to fight out of the corner and... Oh, straight down. Powerbomb. Challenger Cannon using the ropes here. It's almost like both Gail Kim and Mickey James, they're trying to out-cheat each other. But ODB calling it right down the middle, not playing any favorites. Really doing a great job staying on top of the action as the referee. Well, these two have scouted each other very well. Gail Kim mid-move, able to reverse things there. Now right out to the floor in front of us, in front of Velvet Sky. Yeah, champ down right at the feet of Velvet, who moves out of the way as Mickey James landed out on the floor. Whoa! In the ring, meanwhile, Gail Kim just snaps just to slap ODB, the ref. It's... Whoa, 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 watch this one quickly sliding in. Roll up by the champ, and Mickey James gets the three count. ODB got under the skin of Gail Kim in a big way. And that distraction ended up costing her the match. You're right, JB. Gail Kim momentarily losing her focus, taking her eye off the ball, turned her attention to the referee, not worried about the champion, slapped ODB in the face, and Gail Kim pays the price. Oh, you know she had some unkind words there for oh, ODB. Oh, oh. Not done yet. Listen here, Gail Kim. Yo, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you, little Miss Pink. I got an issue with you. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Slapping around another ref. I thought you learned your lesson last time. this time because I'm here to remind you the Miss ODB over here is an active wrestler and I think you just messed with the wrong train so you got that on your plate now executive in charge of the knockout Crook Hogan laying down the law reminding Gail that ODB not only the special referee for the knockouts but also an active member of the Impact Wrestling Knockouts roster. And you know what? Something tells me we haven't heard the last of Gail Kim.